Hey guys, it's Artsy Simmer and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another speed build for you guys. This is part four of my build Forgotten Hollow series, um, which I for some reason keep calling Midnight Hollow, but <laughs> it's Forgotten Hollow. Um, this is the fourth lot. It is on a 30 by 30 lot, so it's like the top lot whenever you're looking at the town map. Um, this lot is called Grimwood Estate, and it is on my gallery. If you guys like to download it, I'll put a link in the description. And if you guys haven't seen the other three builds for this series so far, I will link that in the description for you guys. But, um, the price of this house is 141,267 simoleons. It is two bedrooms. It has three bathrooms. There is a bathroom downstairs, and then there's two upstairs. One for the master bedroom. Yes. And then one for the, you know, guest I guess and then um, I did remember to give this lot some traits so the traits I gave it are vampire nexus registered vampire lair and mean vibe but again I forgot to put coffins in this house so um, I mean I guess it wouldn't be too much trouble to try and add a basement or something and then add in some coffins or just replace some of the beds with coffins um, there are three beds there is the bed in the master bedroom and then there are two beds in the like teenager room which you'll see whenever I get to that but I will insert an image right now of the inspiration picture I had for this um I think it's supposed to be a replica of the Munster's house but I'm not 100% sure that's what it says on the thing but honestly I can't remember what the house looked like from that show so um yeah don't quote me on that but, uh, yeah, I really liked it, and I like the way the house turned out. I really like the, um, back angle of the house. I don't know why, I just like the little porch area. And, yeah, I guess it's like a connected gazebo to the house. And it's just like a little, I put a little bench and a, uh, what's it called? Easel out there. So, you know, maybe the sims who live in this house are artistic. Possibly, maybe, I don't know. And then... I did use some of the, like, hidden doors, um, well, they're basically doors, but they're supposed to look like hidden doors, you know, the bookshelf doors, whatever, but, uh, I did use a few of those, I used one downstairs, well, two downstairs, and then one upstairs, because there's, like, a secret hidden room downstairs as, like, a study area where you can just, like, um, study all the vampire stuff, you know, and, um, there's one upstairs for, well, it's connected to the master bedroom, and it is just like a little uh, music room, I guess. I just put an organ in there. That's really all there is music-wise, because it's a pretty small room. It's over here in this small little cone-shaped thing. I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, that little tiny tower over there. Yeah, upstairs. That's where that room is. And then the other room is um, on the other side, downstairs, um, in the four-wide area. Yes, I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, I do change the exterior whenever I move on to the interior because I did just um, go off this picture that I found on Google, but um, I wanted to put a fireplace in, so I do add a chimney over to this side of the house, which I thought it was just kind of plain looking anyway, and I wasn't really happy with it whenever I was done with the exterior because I just don't like having a flat side to a house. Um, I just feel like, you know, there needs to be some kind of interest there. So I do add a chimney there and I just like oversize the chimney thing and yeah, I make it work. It's fine. And then in the front yard, I just put um, this little fenced in area. I was going to put some gates in, but it couldn't find any gates that worked with it. So I just, you know, cut it out. It's just like a little garden area. There is some gardening plots. I put the um, square gardening plot on one side and then just a circle on the other. So you can have like a cow plant or something. And that one, if you'd like, I think you can put a cow plant in the one wide one. I'm not really sure. Well, in the little circle one. But, you know, since it's meant to be a vampire house, you know, maybe you can grow some wolfsbane or, like, other things that came with vampires that I can't remember right now. But, yeah. And then, I do like the landscaping on this one. It's not too much landscaping, but um, I feel like it's just the right amount. And I really like it. But I did mostly just use all the vampire um, landscaping, which I've done for the other houses in this neighborhood. Um, so, yeah. Again, if you guys have watched the other parts of this video, not video, series, uh, link will be in the description. But, uh, yeah, I did put some rose bushes everywhere because, I don't know, I just felt like they needed roses. It, it made sense to me, right? Yes. 
<laughs> so yeah that's what I did I do go back and change the red trim because I was gonna originally go with like red trim on all the wood parts like even the foundation and everything but I just couldn't find any that fit with it so I do go back and change that to like a dark brown color instead um, I, I did really like the red I think in the picture that I found it was red but it just didn't work in the end so I did go back and change it and I wish there was a darker color for these windows that would have went a little bit better but um, actually there might be a darker color I was just trying to find something that went with red trim and I forgot to go back and check that but <laughs> yeah that, that's my bad I'm sorry <laughs> But, uh, yeah. So, um, I do cut out the part where I'm adding in all the cracks and tears and cobwebs and everything like that. Because, um, I, I learned that in the first part of this series. That it takes a really long time and makes the video really, really long. So, I do cut that part out. But, um, all of that will be in the screenshots at the end of the video. So, if you guys would like to see that, then stick around to the end of the video and you can watch the screenshots. So, yeah. And then, I can't remember if I had too many problems with coming up with the floor plan for this house. Because I did just find um, a reference image of the outside of the house. So that's what I built it based off of. And I had no idea what I was going to do inside. I didn't know how many bedrooms I was going to add or anything like that. So um, I, I just cut that part out. So I don't know if I had any problems with it. But uh, yeah, I cut out the floor plan because I didn't know how long it was going to take me. And I didn't know how difficult it was going to be, but I don't think it ended up um, taking that long, honestly. But, uh, yeah, I like the way it turned out, and I like the little idea of the hidden rooms and stuff, especially in um, this type of house for, like, vampires, or, you know, maybe they're not even vampires live here. Maybe they're, like, vampire enthusiasts or vampire hunters, maybe. I don't know. But, yeah, it works. I like it. And then, <laughs> um... I forgot that I had given the lot trait main vibe to this house, and I was looking at some inspiration pictures. I was just googling some interior design photos and stuff for vampires and stuff like that. And I found one, it was like, everything was like kind of white and red, and it was like romantic looking. And that's kind of what I wanted to go with. So I was uh, messing around with the different wallpapers and stuff and trying to find the light colored wallpapers. but. Unfortunately, they didn't work out very well, so I just ended up going with the dark colors anyway, which it's a good thing because um, I was going to make it like, you know, maybe it's nice vampires who live here, but then I forgot it had the mean vibe. So uh, yeah, it, it, it worked out in the end, so it's fine. And then here's the little chimney I was talking about. It does look kind of wonky and weird, but um, you know, it works for what it's supposed to anyway. So yeah, I like it. There we go. Yep. Chimney. And then I moved back inside. Um, yeah, that's the chimney I found. It was not chimney, fireplace. I believe it's the one that comes with vampires, I'm pretty sure. Yes, and then I don't really like the sofas that come with um, the vampire stuff pack, so I just ended up using base game sofas, I believe. I'm pretty sure they were base game, I don't know. But I just, I just didn't like the colors or the style of the furniture that came with vampires. Well, the sofas, at least. So, I just ended up going with the base game ones, and it works. It's fine. I like it. And then, I did try to stack some rugs in the living room. I think they turned out pretty well, but, um, you know, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I like them. They look cool. Um, so, yeah. I don't really know what else to say about this room. I was going to put that stack of books, but I decided to move them over. And then, Oh, yeah. This is when I decided <laughs> um, that I am going to make this house for, like cat loving vampires so um because i had no idea what to do with that room off to the side and then i saw those little cat statues those little gold ones and i was like these would be perfect on top of the fireplace and i was like you know what i'm just gonna go with it and they're gonna have cats so um the little room off to the side of the living room there is a cat room <laughs> so they have their own room and then i did put a couple of pet beds around the house um i put one upstairs in the other secret room area in the organ room I put a little pet bed and then I put one in the living room and I think those are the only ones I have really. I don't think I put one in the cat room. I do put a little climbing tower thing. I don't know what it's called but I put one of those in the cat room and a litter box and then I put a food bowl in there and I think 
I remembered to put a food bowl in the kitchen. I'm not 100% sure. I may have forgot to do that. So I apologize if I did. But um, yeah, you guys can just add in a cat bowl into the kitchen if you guys would like. But uh, yeah, there is one in the cat room. So, you know, at least they have one bowl, I guess. And then, yeah, I was going back to decorate the coffee table. Because I usually end up forgetting to decorate the coffee table. And then I was looking at it, I was like, I could have swore... I decorated the coffee table, but I guess I didn't. Um, I think I found something that I wanted to go on the coffee table, but then I ended up putting it on the fireplace instead. So, yeah. And I did put those little, um, I don't know what they're called. Are they radiators? or they heaters? I don't know. But I put them in all the rooms that didn't have a fireplace. Um, I think there are two rooms in this house that have a fireplace. And it's the living room and the master bedroom. I think the master bedroom. Yeah, the master bedroom because it's on the same wall as the chimney thing so yeah I decided why not and then so uh yeah what was I talking about I don't remember but yeah those radiator things I put them in all the rooms that didn't have a heater except for the entryway because uh, that'd be weird and I felt like there probably wouldn't be enough room in there anyway but uh yeah I do like the little radiator things I don't think I put one in the downstairs bathroom I put one in the upstairs bathroom um, one of the upstairs bathrooms the one next to the um teenager room i guess it could be a kid's room i guess but uh yeah it, it, it's a second bedroom for um kids or teens <laughs> and um this is the little study room that i created for um you know sims to learn all the vampire lore and so it's just got a table and it's got a bookshelf in there and i'm pretty sure everything's accessible uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be any routing issues with it. So, uh, yeah, that's great. And then I was going to put those couple of bookshelves along the wall, which I know Sims probably wouldn't be able to get to them. But, you know, you can just open the bookshelf anyway and get books from it that way. But I decided to change it because I didn't like the way it looked. They didn't connect right and it just looked, kind of looked weird. And then the idea I had for this is like, um, you know, maybe if you decide to be a vampire hunter instead of a vampire enthusiast. Or you, it, I guess it could work for vampire enthusiasts. You just have a list of all the known vampires in the neighborhood, you know. That'd be fun. At least that's the idea I had for the little cork board over there. So, yeah. <laughs> now we are moving on to the kitchen slash dining room. And I did use the vampire counters. Um, I like the green color. I wish they came in more colors, though, because and it only comes with three color swatches. It comes with these green ones, it comes with a weird brown color, and it comes with white, which I don't think I'd use the white and black ones in a vampire house. I just feel like those colors don't really go with it. Um, I like the more brown and natural colors, other than just, like, you know, a bright white and black accent. So, uh, yeah. I, I, just, I just don't like the colors that come with those counters. And it makes me sad, but it's okay. And then, I don't know if you guys can see the lag, but I'm seeing a lot of lag in my <laughs> editing program. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what's happening, but it's fine. I don't think it actually um, shows in the video. I think it's just, you know, me. So, uh, that's good, I guess. And then, here is the dining table. Um, there is just four spaces, because there's only four sims that can live in this house, really. Unless, you know, you add more beds or something. But, you know, there's the master bedroom, and then there's two beds in the other room, so... Uh, yeah, I just put four tables, which really that's all that would fit. So, uh, yeah, I did use the size down option quite a bit in this house, especially for the paintings, because um, I don't really get to use these paintings very often, um, especially the ones that came with Vampire because they're so big. Um, but I did get to size them down, and it made me very happy. And I think that's actually the first time I ever used a grandfather clock because I never really know how to use them. And I don't, uh, yeah, so I, I, was, I was excited that I got to use it. So that, that's good. <laughs> and then here's the bathroom. I don't know what's wrong with this bathroom door, but for some reason it keeps um, turning to wallpaper, which is kind of weird, which it, it, it reminds me of in The Sims 3, whenever you have to move objects on and you're moving walls and doors around and it just like uh, puts wallpaper over it. And then you have to like replace it and to fix it. Um, that's what that door kept doing. None of the other stores, other doors would do that. Uh, it was just that one. So I don't really know, but, uh, yeah. And then up here is the little landing area, which I usually hate doing landing areas, but I actually really liked this one. I really like the way it turned out. And I love that chair that came with cats and dogs. It makes me so happy. And then I thought about turning that into like a little nook area upstairs, but I just, I decided against it because I wasn't really sure what I could put in there. But, you know, you guys can always take down that wall if you have an idea of what you want to do with that. But, 
Now we are moving on to the master bedroom. I do like this bed. I like the style of the bed and I wanted to use it, but there were no colors that I liked that would go with it. I'm sorry, my screen turned off. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. So, um, yeah, I just ended up going with a base game bed, I'm pretty sure. And then the cats and dogs dresser because I really liked the way it looked. And, uh, yeah, that's the other door I was talking about to the little secret area. I wasn't really sure what to do with it um, whenever I was beginning to build. And then I went in there and I was like, you know what? This would be the perfect size for an organ. So that's what I decided to put it in there. So it's just a little music room. You know, maybe the Sims who live here are music enthusiasts. So why not? And then, which made sense for the painting I put in this room at the end, towards the end. So I was like, okay, well, maybe they're interested in, interested in music. So, you know, it made sense for the organ in the end. So that's good. And then for the upstairs bathroom that's connected to the master bedroom, I just copied and pasted the um, downstairs bathroom to the upstairs because it was easier <laughs> and I was lazy. So yeah, I did have to move some of the odd items around, obviously, because the doors weren't in the right place and there were some weird window glitches and stuff. So yeah. Um, I did cut that part out, so you guys probably didn't see me doing the upstairs bathroom, which is probably a good thing anyway, because it's got, like, that weird roof over it, so you couldn't really see into the bathroom too well, but it's okay. And then, um, this is the fourth build I've done for this series, which I think I've already said, but that means I only have one lot left, and it is the larger lot, which I plan on just putting in a lot of, um, little retail shops and community um, buildings on. So if you guys have any suggestions for what types of buildings you would like to go on that lot, because I do plan on having quite a few, um, stores and little shopping areas, you know, maybe like a little cafe or something, but it is going to be kind of vampire themed. Well, it's going to be themed for the rest of the houses in this world. So, uh, you know, it'll be kind of creepy, you know, the exterior will probably be correct. I don't know if I'm going to try to go through and put all the cracks and the cobwebs and stuff on the inside of the buildings because there will be quite a few buildings but um you know we'll see how I feel um towards the end of the build because it may be a little frustrating but I have um plans for the exterior of the buildings I just don't know what types of buildings I want to use yet um like do I want bookstores do I want a clothing store which I'll probably put a clothing store anyway but um yeah so uh leave suggestions in the comments because I would love to hear them because my, my brain is dead sometimes. So yeah, it, it'd be very helpful. And I'd like to know what you guys would like to have in this world. So uh, yeah, let me know what kinds of buildings you would like on that lot. So uh, yeah, and I don't know if I'll be able to put all of your suggestions in it if I get a lot, but um, yeah, I'll definitely try my best. So yeah. Um, I just feel like I always make the same kind of community lots. Like, um, it's going to be like the two lots that I built in Newcrest, where they're just a bunch of little stores. Oh, look, we're on to the screenshots. Awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Check out the other parts in this series, um, the three other builds. They'll be linked in the description. But, uh, yeah, feel free to leave your suggestions below for the... Uh, next lot for this world. I don't know when I'll start building that, but hopefully soon. Uh, th anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!